is the way the system is. It's, it's the, the legal profession make the rules. They're, they're self-regulating, so they protect themselves from the public. And, you know, he who makes the, who's got the gold, I should say, makes the golden rule. John Crane is not a lawyer. He used to be a farmer. But now, after a long and bitter battle with the legal firm, he's determined to change the way the law is practised in this country. When his father-in-law died six years ago, his estate was left in the care of an Adelaide law firm, McGarry Farlam. When John Crane went to claim the money, he was told it had disappeared from the company's trust account. A former McGarry Farlam employee this week pleaded guilty to fraud and deception. I sort of suspected back in 2004 that there was problems and in 2005 I was proven correct that there was theft and well, from then on it was nothing but disaster all the way through. John Crane was one of 42 people who collectively lost $4.5 million. In South Australia there's a guarantee fund designed to compensate people such as John Crane. However, before he could make a claim, he had to spend more than $100,000 exhausting all legal avenues, an unsuccessful pursuit that cost him his farm and his faith in the legal system. It's a huge cost, actually, because uh, I wasn't going to lay down <laughs> because I just thought the whole thing was absolutely criminal, the way victims of a law firm trust account theft were treated in the end like they were the criminal. Now John Crane is determined to make his voice heard as Australia moves slowly toward a new national regulation of the legal industry that will replace the current systems in each state and territory. Well, essentially we've got eight different models of regulation of the legal profession throughout Australia. Uh, what we're proposing is to create a truly uniform national legal profession that has benefits, obviously,